So now we move on to the practical side of running a Lightning Network node. Um, on your My Node, you will see a dashboard item called Lightning. Uh, and if you click on Manage, uh, this wallet's already been created, but you will get a button there that says uh, Create Wallet. And what that will then do is uh, give, will generate you a 24 word seed. You're gonna write those 24 words down uh, and keep them in a safe place. Then in the next screen, you're going to confirm the seed uh, and then it'll say Wallet Created and then it will be logging in for a few minutes. After a few minutes you've waited, uh, you'll eventually come to this screen uh, where the Lightning Network node will be running, okay? So that is how you would get to this position. Now, it gives you a little bit of a, um, a brief overview of uh, the, the status of your Lightning Network node, it's active, what version you're running, the number of peers you're connected to, the block height, it's also got your Lightning Network node uh, identifier, so to speak, um, or rather its name. Uh, you can change that if you want. Uh, the default is mynodebdc.com mynode, and you can just change that to whatever you wish and then put in your password, default passwords, bolt, um, and you can change that. And so that, that becomes your Lightning Network node's name um, on the network. Now, this here is your unique identifier that you would give out uh, for people to connect to you. Um, and you'll notice that it is through Tor, okay? So it is running, uh, it's got an onion address there and it's not running through ClearNet. So by default, this is um, running, your, your node is running over Tor. Now, to fund your wallet, you can generate a deposit address and that will generate um, a, a, an address for you to pay to, um, to fund your Lightning Network node. Uh, so this is the address that you would pour some money into. And then what you will need to do is open up channels with that money. So um, the way that you would do that is down the bottom here is there are a number of avenues to access your wallet and you can choose any option below. So the RTL is Ride the Lightning and that is a web interface that kind of looks like this, okay? Uh, and, you know, you, there's a lot of features and functionality in here, and it's a nice little dashboard. Um, so here is the on-chain side of things. So um, obviously I don't have any funds on this Lightning Network node, um, but what you can do is uh, receive, and you can generate an address just like we did on the previous um on the main page up here, uh, you can also uh, generate another address to um, to fund your Lightning Network node as well. Here, you would be able to send. So if you have any funds, then you can send it to, you know, either your hardware wallet or whatever other wallet that you want. Um, and so you can send the amounts, sats, and so forth. You can also sweep all. So if you want everything cleared out of your Lightning Network node, um, then you can put through an, a... Uh, transaction on chain to send it back to uh, your hardware wallet once uh, you've built up, um, you know, funds that you're, you know, c comfortable with then moving out. So here is then where you would uh, go into the lightning section. Um, this is where you would open up a channel with someone or a channel partner. So here I've got, um, you know, peers that I've already connected to. And if you want to connect to a particular peer, um, you can you can do so. Uh, just go add peer, and you can put in their pub key or um, and their IP address, or in this case, onion address, and that whole string of characters you can then um, connect through to a a peer. So once you've connected through to the peer, so say for example, I've connected to the Ministry of Nodes uh, Lightning Network node, you can open up a channel of say whatever, however many sats you want. So say I don't know, maybe five hundred thousand sats. You can put down uh, if you want it private or not, um, so on and so forth. Uh, and then you just click open channel and that will then open up a channel. I'll go into a little bit more details as to um, which channels uh, you may wish to consider opening up with um, because obviously the more well connected you are, the more chance of success you have for routing payments. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in just a second. But let me take you through this. 
the other thing, you know, your transaction history, and so on and so forth, invoices, um, payments, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of options through here, um, a couple of settings here. So if you want to go into night mode, you can do that as well. Uh, if you want fiat conversion, um, there is also fiat in here. So you can do that uh, through here. So if you want, you can just choose a, um, a currency and, you know, USD or whatever and, and save that and update that. Okay. And there's a lot of functionality and features here. It's got a nice dashboard. Um, it's a really nice web interface. The other wallet... Uh, that you can that the uh, MyNode recommends is Zap Wallet. Um, this is available for your iPhone, um, for your Android, Mac, Windows, and Linux. So you can then pair your Lightning Network node to your mobile phone if you so wish, um, or any of your devices uh, on your network. So the way that I uh, I'll just quickly show you Zap. I've already downloaded. Um, that one so i'll just go into my cd downloads um zap wallet and so this is the screen that you'll be presented with and what you want to do is just go connect next and then here you will need to paste in your lnd uri and you can find that in the my node when you click on LND connect and so it says here LND connect info will allow access to your lightning uh, wallet do not share this info with others or they will be able to control your funds please enter your password to um, view your LND connect codes so you can view that and so this is my LND uh, it's got a massive QR code and a long string here down the bottom Okay, so we just copy and we paste that into the um, into the wallet, uh, into Zap Wallet, and go next. And then it says, "Are you sure you want to connect?" Yes. Okay. Um, and so this will then bring up your wallet. Um, and here you can pay, you can receive, um, but then you can also manage your channels here. So if you want to create a new channel, um, there's you know you can search by uh, pub key. Um, or a public name or anything like that. So you can search the network for that. Um, there's some also some suggested uh, nodes that you may wish to connect to, Lightning Power Users, Open Node, Yours, BitRefill, Zap, and Tip and Me. So these are some of the um, ones that you can potentially connect up with uh, to, to open up a channel with. Okay. Um, so I'm going to just try if I can do ministry. Oh, here we go. Yep. So you can connect through to that. Um, you can connect to my Lightning Network node if you so wish as well. Uh, the Ministry of Nodes one. So that's available as well. Um, so that's how you would open up uh, channels. Now, the other thing that I did mention was where you can find more information on channels. Um, so if you go to this website called oneml.com, here you'll be able to find uh, the status of the Lightning Network right now. Um, and so you might want to open up with, you know, some of the most connected nodes. So for example, this, this node here or Lightning Powered Users, Async, uh, 1ML, Lightning to Me, um, Satoshi Labs, Open Node. There's a lot here um, that you can open up a channel with. And you can also open up a channel with me uh, if you so wish to do um, and so I'll put a link in the description below as to what my channel ID is um, I'm using C lightning so if you'd like to uh, open up a channel with uh, the Ministry of Nodes then you're more than welcome to do that as well um, so there is how you would do payment capacity what about incoming liquidity now the best place that I have found that still offers uh, inbound liquidity is LN big. So here, what you want is inbound channel on you. And so you click on LND, you click the channel size, depending on how much you wish to receive. Um, and so you can put, you know, I think that's 5 million Satoshis there if you want to open up. So say you just go next and that will generate you a, uh, a, a command. And so what you would do is then just copy this and paste this into your MyNode um, terminal a channel from LNBig will come and connect to you. 
uh, if you paste that in. So that's a another avenue to, re- uh, well, that's just one avenue uh, to receive incoming liquidity or inbound liquidity. The other way is if you have uh, a channel partner that you wish to uh, connect up with, maybe you can go into Telegram groups, maybe in, even in the MyNode Telegram group or any other uh, Lightning Network power, uh, power users uh, group where you can uh, potentially um, reciprocate funds. So if, for example, someone wants to open up a channel of 1 million sats um, to to you, then you can also open up a channel of 1 million sats to another person. It's just about finding peers who are going to um, connect with you. So that's uh, two avenues of, of doing that. The third that I have found is, I think it's a lightning to dot me this website here there are a few hoops that you may have to jump through to get through um, to getting this but basically uh, you can request the channel and get inbound capacity um, and they provide you with 0.02 BTC uh, to get started so that's another avenue by which you can um, also get inbound liquidity so I've provided there three ways of getting uh, the ability to receive funds um, so that's essentially how uh, you would sort of uh, maintain your Lightning Network node. Now, the other alternative wallet is Zeus Wallet. That's a mobile application as well. Um, so you can use Zeus Wallet. Um, they are... Here. So that's another one that you can pair up uh, with your phone. Um, and and get a, an app uh, to pair up with your own node. So um, it's a pretty cool interface as well. So you can see, you know, payments, transactions, invoices, channels, and, and you can manage it um, on your mobile phone as well. So that's another wallet there that you can use with your Lightning Network node. Now, if you like uh, some of the work that I'm doing and you want to show some of your support, what you can do is go to ministryofnodes.com.au slash support. And uh, you can um, test out your Lightning Network node to see if it works and see if you can pay um, by, you know, potentially sending us a donation. So you can put in like, say, $10, pay. And that will generate a BTC pay server um, code for you. Now, here is the Bitcoin address. So here is where you would make that donation here um, through the Bitcoin address. But what you can also do is go into the Lightning section and that will give you um, the code to scan uh, as well as the invoice here as well. So you can um, copy and paste that into your application and pay it over the Lightning Network. So if you would like to um, support our work, uh, then you are more than welcome to do so through that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.